Dad, so you might want to wait. You want me to smoke it or are you good? Yeah. Okay, let me tell you what I got. I have some foundation on on Super 1, Super 2 some foundation, Super 3 some foundation. Super 4 is built out. Super 5 has cap, capped on 6, capped on 7, capped on 8. I have uh, foundation, but not capped on these sides. Yeah, I'm gonna pull some just to see. This is probably the most capped that I have. Very clean, nice looking honey. I like that it's transparent, so. I'm just gonna set this here. This option. This is the way you turn it over. You hold your fingers here, and you want to turn the bees over. You just tilt it this way, and you can see the other side. And you hold it over the hive. So when you're working with a full frame, you just turn it this way. When you have that pincher tool, it's not easy to do that that way. And as I look down in the in the bottom honey super, it looks almost the same as this one. I see a lot of bees in there. It has some capping and some not. They all kind of look the same. There's propolis and honey in here. As you get to the outer frames, there's not as much going on. It's starting to build cone here. Very little storage on the outsides. Looks good, honestly. How are you doing, okay? Yeah. Alright, so again, I want to keep these tight. Now, one of the things I want to note here, I want you to see. So, uh, let me see if I can find an example. Here's comb starting to be built out but not totally and so when a bee builds comb on the next frame if this is open and the other one's not they might build a bulge on the frame like the ones we saw earlier so if we look here you could see that the bees are adhering to bee space but instead of building an evenly from each comb they're going to build this one out to the open space that's on the outside of them so it actually extends outside the edge of the frame. 
Some beekeepers put nine in here on purpose, and that lets them build it out. And then when you get your uncapping tool and you run it across the face, you uncap easy versus having to go down inside the frame. If I were, if this was capped down in here and I had to cut it off, it would be more difficult. There's probably a good strategy on how to get them to do that. Some people use those nine frame spacers that you could buy in a catalog and that spaces them out just a little bit more so that they make deeper and actually for what it's worth I'm gonna do that right now is I'm gonna I'm gonna um, break the B space and let them spread it out a little bit maybe they'll be build the comb a little deeper and that'll make it easier so I'm literally just setting the space and each one open without having to buy a tool to do it so and I'm just using the width of my finger as a gauge and he's finished uh, plowing the tractor next door or plowing the field so so now that's all separated that way and I'm actually I'm just gonna take this top box off and I'm gonna do the same thing to the box below it without having to go into the brood chamber and then we'll do the same over on hive number one and we'll be done for the day. I'm gonna go down. I'm feeling sick. Okay. You're kinda sick. You gotta eat sick? Yeah. Alright, I'll finish this hive. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm just gonna spread these out, like I said. How they glue these things in here, let me tell you. You're doing good? Okay. That's all I need for this. Is anybody up? No. There's no inner cover on this hive. Oh, that's because I... You don't... You're not using the feeder, though? They, they got nectar from nature, so... Yeah. You don't need to feed them. And if I feed them, they'll put sugar water in the hive versus... Versus nectar. Nectar, so I'm trying to build honey. All right, good.